Hi, this is a quick video about using the simple audio recorder to record audio and share it in Schoology. So uh, a number of you have said that the recording tool <coughs> in Schoology is no longer working. And what that looks like is when you are either a teacher or a student, you have the ability in different areas to click on a little microphone and then record yourself. Either it's just audio or it's like a video. Um, because Chrome is doing away with Flash, this is slowly getting harder and harder to use. So we're looking at other tools to help us do the same thing. We found something called the Simple Audio Recorder. <coughs> So let's going, let's get in there and let's get that installed. So it's a Chrome extension. So you're going to go to the Chrome Web Store. So make your way to that. You could Google Chrome Web Store. Um, you might have an icon on your Mac um, toolbar here where you can see the Chrome Web Store. Just make your way over to that. And then you want to do a search for a simple audio recorder. And it's just going to have a little icon with a microphone. This is the one I want. There are probably others as well, but this one has worked pretty well for me. Made by Sergey. I'm going to click on Add to Chrome. It's going to per ask permission. I'm going to ask Add the extension. And then it did really quick. It said it's been Add to Chrome. But then I got this page, you know, thank you, you should. Um, if installation was successful, you can see a pop-up where your Chrome is asking you to allow audio simple recorder. So you might get a pop-up here. I may not get it because I'm recording at the moment, but you want to click on this turn on. And then you want to click off of it. So um, then to use it, you would just click on this icon. If you don't see it, you may have to resize your Omnibar here. Make sure that it's showing. Um, and I did that. I clicked down and I dragged right on the edge and it became the arrows. So anyway, you want to click on this to start recording. Um, so I just click on it. You might see a little window over here asking permission, give it permission. But as you can see, it is counting up. So it's telling me that it's now 10 seconds, 11, 12. And that's all it took for me to start recording was to click on the microphone. Okay, so I'm going to click off of it. And you can imagine, you know, your uses. You could give directions to students so they could hear it. Um, students, maybe it's a world language class, or maybe it's choir. You know, I don't, you know, there's so many different, hmm, there are so many different applications. That was odd. I uh, kind of blanked out there. Um, but then once it is, um, ready to save you're going to see this down here uh, along the bottom the wave audio that is the format that this one saves in so i'm going to call it introduction five i'm just giving it a name i'm going to click on save and then it says download complete show in folder so i'm on a chromebook here so i think this is especially helpful so you could see how students would see it if you're on a Mac, you know, you might have it download to your desktop. You would know how that generally works. I'm going to click on show and folder here when I'm on the Chromebook and just kind of nudge you um, to also nudge your students to save their audio to Google Drive. And how they could do that is to click on the name of the file here on the right and just drag the file over to the Google Drive icon and it saves it there. They might have a folder in there, you know, uh, organized. But um, the reason I'm telling you that is because if the computer reboots, these files are generally cleared out on our student Chromebooks, and then they would lose it. So I'm just going to close this. And I'm going to go into Schoology, where there's an assignment. Um, and here I am um, as a teacher. So if I have an assignment, maybe I want to add some you know, um, audio to the assignment. I already kind of done it, but I'll, I'll show you how it's done. I would go to edit. And the key here is, is that this is a file that you're uploading. It's a, a WAV file. So I'm just getting rid of the one that's there. 
what you would do is you click on file and then you would choose the file on your computer and then select it and then upload it. Click on save changes. You're going to see the first time when you're uploading it and I hover it says this file is currently being converted into a viewable format. So basically, if um, what Schoology is doing is it's converting it so that you can play it in Schoology. Until it's done, it has these green arrows. So if a student would click on it when it has the green arrows, it's going to prompt them to download it. If they would click on the name, it would prompt them to download it. Now, they could download it and they could play it in Chrome, um, but actually, I would recommend you wait until it's done. Ah, there it is. It's done. And now you have a view link. So if you click on view, it opens right within Schoology. Okay. And likewise, um, if I go in to as a student, And I go into a oh, sandbox in here. I just need to find it. There we go. So as a student, if I go on an assignment, I could go to this test assignment and show you, you could submit this file to an assignment. So maybe the student had to record themselves. So I could click on submit assignment and then 